to improve productivity in the manufacturing industry, it's extremely important to know, to know where the constraining resource of the production system is, and this is called the bottleneck. This resource should then be prioritized both in improvement work and in maintenance activities. Unfortunately, many companies guesses where their bottleneck is today. In best case, they use historical data uh, to know where the bottleneck was yesterday or the last week. However, in this project, we use existing machine data together with predictive analytics to improve productivity by prioritizing the right resources in advance before the coming workday or the next shift. The focus of the predictive analytics and maintenance planning project is to predict the bottlenecks in manufacturing. And the potential benefits of predicting the bottlenecks is focused improvements on bottlenecks as well as non-bottlenecks by the production and the maintenance team in the production system, which will improve the utilization of the resources in manufacturing and therefore that will improve the productivity uh, in the manufacturing processes. In this project, we used a method established method that was developed by the Toyota Motor Company to detect and predict the bottlenecks and that method is called as an active period method. The principle behind the active period method is that it classifies the machine into two states. One is the active state, the other is the inactive state. Active state is that state of the machine when something goes on on the machine, whereas an inactive state is when the machine is waiting for the products to be produced or for the operator to be acted on. So the more the machine is in the active state, the more likely is that machine a bottleneck. The machines in the production system generates a lot of data and the type of data that they generate is event log data. That means that the manufacturing execution system which collects the data about the machines stores the states of the machines and the corresponding timestamp of those states of the machine. These data can be used to model the machine as an act in, into an active period state. And when these active period states are collected in a chronological way or in a timely way, we could uh, have a time series of the historical active periods. From this historical time series data, we can predict the active period for the future production run and thereby predict and thereby we can predict the bottlenecks and those bottlenecks, prediction bottlenecks can be given to the decision support interface for the production and the maintenance engineers to view and make strategies uh, to manage the bottlenecks and the non-bottlenecks in the production system. In this, in this overall project, we used the time series based algorithm called as an auto regressive integrated moving average algorithm that basically explores the structure in the historical data and with that type of a structure, it will uh, predict the future active periods of the machine. The ARIMA algorithm has two flavors. One is without re-estimating the model parameters and with re-estimating the model parameters. We chose with re-estimating the model parameters because the dynamics involved in the production system and also the continuous improvement activities that takes place in the machine. With re-estimating the model parameters, we have two different flavors. One is with an increasing window, the other one is the rolling window. We chose the rolling window because the manufacturing execution system uh, in the, at the given case company stores not more than 315 production runs of data. Therefore, in this type of an environment, a rolling window with re-estimation of the model parameters is a suitable model. That will lead to the next question of how much of the past data that is required in order to predict the future active periods of the machine. The first result that we got in this project is the, de is the determination of the historical data to predict the future active periods of the machine. We find that the past 100 production runs of data is a good predictor for the future active period of the machine across the machines in the production system. And the graph here you see the bars represents the predicted active period of the machine using the 100 past production run data. The next step is to predict the bottlenecks from these predicted active periods of the machine. And we see that the dark gray bars here in the slide uh, is the predicted bottlenecks of the machine for the 200th production run. In other words, we can say that out of the 13 machines, machine M1, M6, M7 and M8 are the machines that needs to be watched out for in order to improve the productivity of the production system. The next step is to evaluate the algorithm. So here we used a method that was developed by Microsoft uh, and that is highly used for evaluating the image segmentation algorithm called as an intersection of union method. 
The principle of this method is that it compares the results from the predicted algorithm which that with that of the actual results and the greater the overlap between the predicted results and the actual, actual results, the greater uh, is the uh, performance of the algorithm. And we adapted this technique to the manufacturing environment because a bottleneck could be viewed as a binary output. It's a bottleneck, a machine is a bottleneck or a non-bottleneck. For the proposed algorithm, we see that the intersection of union method gives 37.5% accuracy, but we need to compare this metric with another algorithm. And therefore, we chose the naive algorithm since that's the standard algorithm in the prediction domain. The naive algorithm gives 27% accuracy. So we got 37.5. So there is obviously there is a, uh, there is a very large improvement from that, from that of the naive. Going forward, now we predicted the bottlenecks in a production system. And going forward, we have to diagnose why the machines are likely to be the bottleneck for the future production run. And that will lead to the prescriptive analytics, uh, where we sort of set up a recommendation system for the production and the maintenance engineers, recommending them what actions that needs to be taken on the bottleneck as well as non-bottleneck machines to, pro uh, to, pro to improve the productivity of the production system.